Hello Aries, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what's showing up for you Aries. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus messages for Aries. What are the messages for Aries? All right. You have the Page of Swords, Three of Wands. Oh, the Ace of Cups, nice. The Nine of Wands, Seven of Coins, the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Coins. Under the deck is the Eight of Swords. Okay. So there could be somebody else here. This could be an earth sign or air sign that you're dealing with. Could be that this person is watching you. There could be someone else involved in this reading. They may be blocking your messages. They may be spying at the person's phone, um, computer or something and seeing that you guys are talking back and forth and blocking you. Don't be surprised if this happens. Yeah, they could be in a toxic relationship here. So. If it kind of seems strange, like all of a sudden there's no communication, you're being blocked, but it's by somebody else. All right. Okay, so there might be some shady things coming in here with the moon. Probably not a Pisces. It's probably something that's going to be kind of weird. Yeah, but you got good left here. Four of Wands, the Ace of Cups, but it's difficult. There may be a crazy ex in, involved in this. Yeah. I don't know if you're jumping, you might be happy here. I'm not gonna read that as a third party yet. I mean, I know there's a third person here, but I don't know if it's like a third party thing. It could be an Aquarius specifically, but this person wants them back. So whoever you're dealing with, this is, this is who is interfering and who wants them back. This person, I have no idea who this is. I mean, this could be you. If you work with them, maybe you're really crafty with the Seven of Swords. You're going to beat them at their own game. Maybe you're dealing with an Earth sign. This is interesting. So what is the seven of wands? Yeah, I'm telling you, someone's gonna go quiet, okay? And it's probably because you've been blocked, not because they necessar necessarily want to. Now again, if you don't know about this person here, um, this is also why they're going quiet. You may not even know there's somebody else in the picture. Yeah, there's someone here, maybe it is a Pisces, but this person is not open to love is what it looks like in reverse. This person may be very either overly emotional or just not open to emotion you know love at all hmm holding back listening to your intuition I feel like this person is not stepping up this person could be a very loving person could be very you know warm whatever but in reverse in the moons here and all this I'm seeing this person is not stepping up they're not putting this person in their place and saying, hey, you know, this needs to stop. Because you have this love here, this opportunity, and I feel like you're the one pulling back now. They could also be pulling back. They don't want to share this with you now, but you're also like, wow, this is a lot of work. This relationship is not really worth it with all this drama going on. And you may not know there's a third person. Now, they may be cheating, okay? But I'm, I got it initially that that was not what's going on, but there's definitely somebody here for the third party and it's from their past and the number seven may be important seven months seven years seven weeks where's the star card this person wants money but they also want long term so this is the kind of energy of somebody who is in it for the security the money they could be married to them they may have kids and family but this is to me this is someone who is going to fight and play dirty to keep all those coins so that could be why you're thinking well shit this may not be worth it what is the seven of swords this is more shady energy. Worry. Why? Someone may be caught. This could be the same person. Because a lot of times when I see exes or um, the wife or, or father or mother or children or husband, whatever, I use the king and queen of coins just because it's usually... When you get married with someone, you have kids, there's usually money involved and things are being paid for. That, that's just kind of the way I tell my cards. So it could be that this person is lying about finances or stealing money or in it for the wrong reasons and they may be worried that they're going to be caught or found out the Knight of Swords. I mean, there may be two people here involved, plus you, plus them. You know, I don't know yet, but... Um, What is the Knight of Swords? What, what is going on here? One more card, please, for that. Oh, yeah. So this is, could be a Capricorn, but this is 
this is not a good situation. This is like a, a family member, someone else who's involved in the drama. Who, what is the King of Cups doing? Okay, they're showing him as a King of Coins. So these two may be married. So this could be an earth sign you're dealing with, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now they're, they seem happy. This could be a separate couple. I always get, you know, whenever you start seeing a lot of people, it's always confusing. But I have done readings where the person is married and the other person they're dealing with is married. So there's at least four people involved. Um, this would be four. If you're here, if not, there's three, five. It's like these people are getting away with something is what I'm feeling. This couple is getting away with something. So I don't know if that makes sense to anyone, but they're being shady about it, really shady. This person is kind of like just being manipulated is what I'm getting. And this person is also in on it. Hmm. What is the Two of Swords? What else is going on here with the Two of Swords? Yeah, someone is like stuck, they're trapped. They're not seeing the truth. They're not seeing what's going on. They're not getting themselves out of a bad situation. They're staying stuck. So this, th these could actually be the same person, so could this person. Uh, married, but being manipulated and, you know, not stepping up and being a total ice queen. So this could be what you're dealing with. This just might be two people here. So you may not know the dynamics behind the scenes of what is going on in this relationship, and this is showing it. Now, I'm not sure why he's got the Nine of Cups, though. Why is he, he is happy. He's got a wish fulfilled here or something. As I'm thinking, it's not the same person, but Nine of Cups. There's a new beginning here. A relation. Oh, well, this might be towards you. Yeah, I was just going to say, you guys may be coming together now because the Nine of Cups is a wish fulfilled, and now here we have a new relationship with you. So they do love you. They do like you. They want to be with you. So this might be an earth sign you're with. Hmm. So they may be holding back from you, and it may be finances, not that you need their money or anything, but there's something being held back here because they are coming with the king of coin also. But um, they may, like meaning they want to give their time, effort, money, love, whatever to you. Not this other situation. It's draining them is what I'm getting. What is the four of coins? Okay, but you may be walking away. Yeah. But you may not want to, but you may wait. That's your energy course. But again, seeing that they're happy to be in a relationship with you, but having all this drama and toxicity. Again, they could be married to this person. Wow, you are probably fed up with this whole, this whole thing. Let me see some cards about uh, what's going on. Let's see. So someone is accomplished, it appears to be this person. And they're passionate. And they're sexy. Okay, they could be thinking about you. So maybe that's why they want to be with you though also. You may be younger than this person or younger than the spouse or something. Yeah, they could probably have a lot of money and the two of you, they definitely are drawn to you, but maybe you're just saying this is not worth it is what I'm getting. They may view you as you know, sexy. They may view you as accomplished, also and passionate, but um, wow. So for somebody viewing, you need to know what's going on, the dynamics. This person does like you, but the drama behind it may just not be worth it. What is the devil? What else do we need to know? Because devil usually means a toxic relationship marriage that someone is staying in. They could get, they could get out of it. So obviously there is a major third party here. And remember, they're going to, you're going to probably be blocked if you haven't already on social media or whatever, and you're going to wonder, you know, did they block me? No, they blocked you. What is the devil energy here? Oh, this person, wow. The King of Cups is here too. This person is in it for the money. This person is manipulating this person. But again, there may be kids involved, money is involved. This type of person who... Um, uses all that stuff against them. This person is there. This is the greedy wife sometimes or husband sometimes by the swords getting what they want at all cost. Um, this again, this person is fed up with the nine of wands, but not to the ten of wands. It hasn't quite got there. So that means this is going to continue. 
Again, this might be your energy, but I feel like it's both. But communication, when you talk to this person, because the page of wands could be you communicating to them, if you can get through to them, um, which you may not be, this is what's going on, the dynamics over there. This queen is running the show. Let me just say that. She's totally running this show. Yeah. So I don't see an end to this situation in sight anytime soon. What is the what do my guides think about this? Anything they want to put in an input you would like to put on the situation for Aries? They're saying no and hell no. Don't get involved. Don't get involved. This is not worth it. All right, Aries, I'm going to end it here. Have a really good week and take care.